So you're getting, getting closer and closer to fight day. Is, are you, what's, what's the energy like, man? Are there, are there nerves building up? Is there excitement? What's it feeling like for you? It's good, man. We just talked yesterday. You know, nothing much has changed since then, but, you know, the weight is coming down. I feel on point. Starting to, to dehydrate a little bit, you know, how all that goes. But um, all in all, feeling good. Um, I think I told you this yesterday too, but man, this is probably the best I've ever felt fight week. Um, just mentally, physically, when I'm working out, usually I'm pretty dog tired at this point. Um, and I think just implementing the new systems and really paying attention to recovery and stuff has, has helped a lot. So I'm feeling good. You mentioned coming into fight week, you were heavier than you'd ever been. Or not, was it fight week or fight camp? Fight camp. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, has that proven problematic at all or was it just the fact that, you know? No, I mean, so I never really diet, like up until, up until this fight camp actually. I've never really dieted through a camp. It's just I pretty much always eat clean. I eat a lot of the wild game that I eat and stuff. But I'm, I'm usually trying to consume a ton of calories just to, you know, keep the recovery going and not really focusing on cutting back. Um, and this camp, probably about four weeks out, I started really focusing on dieting and, and um, trying to get my weight down because it was the heaviest I'd ever been. And I think it's, it's really paid off. I feel great right now, weight's on point, and um, all in all, it's good. You mentioned that it feels like in the two years we've gone, that the guys that are in place now are like bigger, longer, you know. Are you a 45 or I mean, is that the only option available to you? Yeah, you know, I've talked about making the 35 cut, but every, every time I'm in 45's fight week and I'm trying to make 45's, I'm like, F that, I'm not. So I don't know, I mean, it's definitely something I could probably do. It would be probably a good four, four month diet, like strict, and I'd have to like really pin it down. Um, I mean, honestly, my body style, I'm explosive, I'm, I'm powerful. And when I'm taking those carbs out through training camp, like it definitely hinders. So I don't know if I would probably want to do it. I, I mean, I don't know. I think it's something I could probably do and make the weight, but I don't know how well I'd feel. So, um, you know, if it's not if it's not broken, I'm not going to fix it. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm fine at featherweight. I feel good. And I'm going to get out there and, and just keep moving forward in that division and see what happens. The last thing for me, I mean, you've been a part of world title fights in Vegas and some of the biggest shows we've ever seen, right? Now we're here in Boise. It's, it's you know, small town, small media turnout. But it feels like a lot of people are paying attention to this fight. You know, a lot of people. Yeah. Does, this, does this have kind of a big fight feel to you, even though we're on a small card in a small town? Oh, for sure, man. I mean, I'm, I'm seriously treating this like it's the biggest fight of my life. Like, this is the fight where I have to go out there and prove to everybody, like, I'm back. You know, this is... Me, I, I didn't leave. I'm, I'm right back where I'm supposed to be. And um, I think uh, a, uh, an opponent like Miles is perfect. You know, he's a tough guy. He's a guy that's, you know, coming, coming down from the weight class above. And, um, you know, he's not necessarily the most well-known fighter, but people definitely know who he is. And, um, you know, he's a tough dude. You know, it's a win over him isn't just, you know, a win over a slouch. So, uh, you know, I think it's, it's definitely going to make a statement if I go out there and, and finish this fight. So we'll see. You mentioned, you know, obviously you want to pick up the win. You want to prove everybody that you're back. Any worries about, you know, you've been away from the octagon for two years, you know, kind of getting those nerves settled in quick, any, any cage rust, anything like that? Any worries about that? You know, every, everybody's been asking about the whole ring rust thing. And, I mean, honestly, I've never taken this much time off, so I, I couldn't tell you. But, um, um, you know, I, I really did just focus on what I can control, and that's my training and, and, and the mental preparation leading up to this. So. Um, you know, I did everything I need to do. If, if the ring rest is a thing, then it's a thing and I'm just gonna have to fight through it. You know, I know I'm mentally tough enough to get, get through it all. I've, I've gotten through a lot of crap in my life. So, um, you know, this is, this is just another thing, another stepping stone in front of me to get back to that title shot. So ring rust, if, you know, if it's there, it's there. I'm going to get through it. You talked about your opponent. How do you see Saturday going? You know, Miles is a, he's a tough guy. Like I said, he's a, he's a counter striker, you know, likes to keep the pace at his own, you know, speed. Um, likes to grapple, likes to wrestle, which is great for me. So, um, you know, uh, everyone's, you know, in this division is a lot taller than me, has a reach advantage. So, you know, that's something I'm, I'm pretty used to. So I think just using my athleticism, my wrestling, my speed, my power, I think that's going to be key to finishing this fight. Do you feel like the first minute or two is probably like the most dangerous part of the fight for you? Yeah, of course. I mean, there's no sweat yet. And, you know, some, he's, he's slick with submissions. I got to be careful of that. But um, I think with the game plan that we have put together, like, I don't have any worries. If I can stick to that and, and everything works with that game plan, we're fine.